Hi there, I'm Mike Chappell, and in this Cert Mike Explains video, we're going to talk about mandatory access controls, or MAC systems. Now, I get a lot of questions about this topic from students preparing for certification exams because these mandatory access control systems are important exam topics, but they don't often come up in our day-to-day -day work unless we work in a military or defense environment. Now, first of all, we need to clarify that when we say MAC here, we're talking about mandatory access control systems not Apple Mac computers or a computer's hardware Mac address. The same word is used three different ways in the world of IT, but we're talking about a theoretical model of access control systems. Mandatory access control systems are the most stringent types of access control. In Mac systems, the operating system itself restricts the permissions that may be granted to users and processes on system resources. Users themselves cannot modify permissions. For this reason, Mac is rarely fully implemented on production systems outside of highly secure environments. Mac is normally implemented as a rule-based access control system where users and resources have labels, and the operating system makes access control decisions by comparing those labels. I'll give you an example of how Mac systems work in practice, but before I do that, I want to take a moment to invite you to visit my website at certmic.com. On that site, I have free study plans put together to help you earn your next certification. The plans tie together the content that you'll find in study guides, video courses, and practice tests to help you prepare for your next certification exam and pass that test on the first try. Also, if you're enjoying this Cert Mike Explains video, please take a moment to click the like button below to help other people discover it. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll be among the first to see my new videos as they come out. So let's take a look at a Mac system in action. U.S. government applications often use mandatory access controls to protect classified information. In this approach, documents and users are each assigned a classification level. Documents might be labeled as top secret, secret, or confidential, depending upon the sensitivity of the information that they contain. Users are labeled top secret, secret, or confidential based upon their security clearance the sensitivity of information that they are authorized to access. The mandatory access control system is then responsible for comparing these labels. If a user with a secret clearance attempts to access a secret document, that's allowed. If that same user attempts to access a confidential document, that is also allowed because a user with a secret clearance is authorized to access documents at the secret level or lower, and confidential is a lower classification than secret. However, if that user attempts to access a top-secret document, that access attempt is rejected because the user is not authorized to access top-secret information. It's above their clearance level. The most common example of an operating system implementing Mac is Security Enhanced Linux, or SE Linux. This is a Linux kernel security module developed by the U.S. National Security Agency in the 1990s and included in some Linux distributions, including Red Hat Enterprise Linux, CentOS, and Fedora. I hope this video helped you better understand mandatory access controls. If it did, please click the like button below and subscribe to my channel for more IT certification content.